dreams just doing random things with my best friend in this video we are going to harness and leash train the newest addition to our family bimo Dun -dun -dun. how are we gonna do that bye Desensitizing her pain. By desensitizing Bimo's pain and associating it with positive reinforcement. Okay, forcing her to like it. You will be forced to like it. <sighs> right now she's a ravenous four and a half month old, four month something. I we, we don't really know her age. We got her from the shelter and we rescued her. But uh, she's about four months old. She loves food and she's ravenous to the point of self-soothing. So when we don't have treats and we're petting her, she'll ta sometimes suckle on her own teeth. AKA, milk herself. she will milk herself. And uh, she'll probably grow out of it. But yeah, at the moment, we're just going to do a little bit of positive reinforcement like love and affection and treats. Right there. Associate this harness right here. Right here with Beans. the positivity Beans. Ooh, of a treat. And right now she is going ham. Got a little bit of cat TV on in the back if you haven't seen cat TV on YouTube. Little Beams loves it. She will meow like that until we wake her up and we turn on the cat TV, her favorite program. Oh, you want another treat, huh? Well, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have the harness and we're just gonna place it on her back. I and, was just gonna put it through her neck. Oh, really? I don't know. Should we see? We could give it a try. I think you're supposed to go a little slower. You can go at your own pace. Each cat's a little different. But we're gonna try to put the harness on now and associate that with the treat. So as soon as we put the harness on, we will put a treat in front of her. And we're just gonna get her used to positive experiences with the harness. I've seen other people and other trainers put the harness on the cat's back. And then as soon as the harness is there, you associate the treat. I think you're supposed to give it a little sooner than that. So we'll tr take it off again. Right now you can see that Bimo is milking herself. She is loving that she's making her biscuits and she's, she, you can almost hear the suckling. We're gonna, we're gonna pull her away. We're gonna put the harness. She does not like that. Mm. As you can tell, we're experts. <laughs> Bimo, would you stop sucking your teeth? I'm just a baby. Anila has the treats right here in her back pocket. <laughs> booty, 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 booty. She seems to have calmed down just a little bit, despite still suckling on her teeth. There she goes, suckling away, but that's not a mama. That's herself, suckleception. Okay. So we got the harness on, good. And there's the positive reinforcement. Okay. Treat is gone, yeah. harness off. Now don't you associate this with pleasure and not pain? All right, we're gonna try clipping the harness now. Harness coming on. Okay. We clip it. Clip two. And treat. So now that she has the harness on and she associates it with positive experience. Listen to the sound of those suckles. We asked our vet, this is normal behavior. So as much as like we see it and we're like, that's weird. Vet said, as long as she's not being hurt, She'll probably grow out of it, but just listen to that suckling. Wow. Cats can do this behavior because maybe they've been separated from their mama too young. Uh, we got Bimo in a shelter when she was just four months old. She's grown a lot, and she started doing this behavior probably just because, well, we're speculating, and this is just what Google said, but she was probably separated from her mama too soon. You're her mama now. <laughs> each cat's a little different, like I had mentioned before, so the training is going to be a little different depending on each cat. Uh, Bimo is a little bit more tolerant and brave and uh, already desensitized from being in the shelter. So she sees this as positive. She's not in any discomfort. So we're going to leave the um, harness on her and we'll continue to train. Obviously, like if we were out, we would probably have this a little tighter because cats are escape artists. We don't want her getting away. You can also do some extra precautions like putting a, um, a collar with a GPS tracker. So that way, just in case 
um, any accidents were to happen or she got out of the harness or something spooked her and she ran into the trees, um, you'd be able to find her. Once she stops suckling away, we're gonna do a little trail of treats. And so she can get used to walking with the weight of the harness on her. We're not giving her a full treats. We've broken these up into little pieces. So that way we don't uh, turn little Bimo into a holiday ham. Because we want her to stay fit and young. Fit and virile. All right. Angela is going to take Bimo off the cat tree. Like so. And then we will do the trail of treats. There you go. She's doing good so far. Get every little morsel, Bimo. I think we should have spaced the treats out a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Yep, oh, we'll, we'll do that, we'll do that uh, in the next try. There you go, Beams. Cat booty moment. Get every crummy, crummy crumb. Good job, Bimo. And that is training. 101. It's still a little awkward for her on her body, but she's gonna get used to it. And she'll she'll be more comfortable once we keep associating that positive reinforcement through treats and pets and love and affection. She's walking. She is walking with it. Look at, it. Look at her go. Uh, for context, I had this on her yesterday, so she got a little taste of it yesterday, but she was also doing that little like crouched walk. Uh -huh. one YouTube video on how to train you and Sally. Thanks, Sally. She's walking though. Look at her exploded. <laughs> she's turned into a potato. See, she's doing this little like crouch walk. It's time to take it off of her. One small step for feline, one giant leap for feline kind. And if you continue to do this, you will have your very own harness and leash trained kitty that you can take on adventures. Eee. Dun, dun, dun. Little Bebo. Adventure kitty is extraordinary. So hopefully in the next video, or maybe in the same one, just at a different point, we will take her out on a, her first leash adventure. But we this is just the harness training. We still have to do the leash training. So essentially what we would do is we would attach um, the leash to one of those clips back there. We would do a, a little treat trail or a go-gurt. And hey, got the go-gurt right over here. And on the leash, you would walk, and probably just on that back little patio area. Keep her close, let her experience the great outdoors while she's on the harness and the leash with some positive experience. Probably gonna take the cat carrier or invest in a cat backpack of some sort. So that way, Bimo has uh, some safety out there. You never know if there's like a dog off the leash or something spooks her. Uh, we would want her to feel safe and like hide in there or in the backpack. Um, so that way she doesn't run off into the woods. If she was to run off though, we would want to get a GPS collar. If anything catastrophic were to happen where she felt threatened and didn't jump up on her shoulder or in the bag or in a backpack, we would still be able to find her with that collar. You see that, Bimo? That is the smell of freedom. The great outdoors. And we will be going outdoors very soon. Tasty little rodent. Yeah, I'm tasty, but 
Hey, we're supposed to be watching Bimo. Look at Bimo here in his leash. Look at that. Oh. Love you. Love you, How you feeling, Beams? Feel good with that, that collar and leash on? Harness and leash, actually? Mmm, I mean, I mean, that's some good <laughs> food. I don't think Petco, um, because that's a that's pretty far from here. Hello, Goofna. Hello, Goofna. You may be wondering, what's oh. up with this thumbnail? Oh, why is it just Bimo's head over some random feline's body? Well, she is, as we believe, unphotogenic. She cannot capture her essence and beauty on the camera, and she didn't want to either. So here are the examples of the pictures we tried to take of her. Enjoy. <laughs> and time passed. We are at our first vet visit, Bimo's exploring the new space. She's four months old. Look at her, a little courageous soul. We'll see how she reacts. Look at these prestigious kittens. Kittens. Assessing every corner, probably trying to find food. I haven't showered today. Well, we just wanted to say thank you for watching the video. Uh, we hope you really enjoyed it, gave you some laughs, and you learned a little bit along the way. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, it really helps. And uh, anything else that we gotta say? Actually, there is one more thing. These nuts. <laughs>